are you? Ask me who I was. All right, who were you then? In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. Can you sit down? I can. Well, do it then. You don't believe in me. I don't. What evidence would you have beyond that of your own senses of my existence? I don't know. Why do you doubt your senses? Because you could be almost anything. A bit of undigested beef. A crumb of cheese. Or a fragment of an underdone potato. Yes, that's it. There's more gravy about you than grave, whatever you are. Humbug! <coughs> oh! 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 Dreadful apparition, why do you trouble me so? Man of the worldly mind, do you believe in me or not? Oh, I do. I must. But what do you want with me and why are you chained? I wear the chain I forged in life. I made it, link by link, yard by yard. I girded it on of my own free will, and of my own free will I wore it. Is its pattern strange to you? Or would you know the weight and length of the strong coil you bear yourself? It was full, long, and heavy as this seven Christmas Eves ago. You have labored on it since. It is a ponderous chain. Oh, Jacob, oh, tell me no more. Speak words of comfort to me, Jacob. Alas, I have none to give. My spirit never walked beyond our counting house. In life, my spirit never roamed beyond the narrow limits of our money-changing home. And weary journeys lie before me. No doubt of that. You always were a good man of business. Business? Mankind was my business. The common welfare was my business. Charity, mercy, forbearance and benevolence were all my business. The dealings of my trade were but a drop of water in the comprehensive ocean of my business. This time of year, Scrooge, I suffer most. Why did I walk through crowds of fellow beings with my eyes turned down and never raise them to that blessed star which led the wise men to a poor abode? Were there no poor homes to which its light would have guided me? Hear me! My time is nearly gone. Oh, I will, I will. For me, nay, it is too late. I have come to warn you that there is still a chance and hope of escaping my fate. Oh, you always were a good friend. You will be visited by three angels. Three angels? Is that the chance and hope that you spoke of? It is. Oh, I think I'd rather not. Without their visits, you cannot hope to shun the path I tread. Expect the first when the bell tolls one. Couldn't we have them all at once and get it over with, Jacob? Expect the second at the stroke of two, and the third in his own good time. Now look to me no more, and for your own sake, remember what has passed between us.